tonight, a hiker has a bed to sleep mm. on after disappearing for more than two days in the woods. After a massive search, Carter Wallace was found dehydrated just a few miles west of where he started at Beeman Park. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres says it was a couple of strangers who found him. We're going this way. Out of the dozens of voices echoing in the search for a hiker missing for two days. And there's thorns everywhere. He's wearing blue and gray. And there were policemen mounted on horses looking for him. It's the sound of relief. And then tears were in his eyes and I looked at him and I said, is he alive? And he went, yes, he's alive. Reverberating the core of Fern Carter Smith. I just can't so believe this is Jay. Listening to good news, her brother is found safe. He looked real tan and real dirty and a lot of scratches on him, but he was completely alert. And it was just wonderful and all he could say was, I'm so embarrassed, but I've been on a three day retreat with the Lord. 67 year old Wallace Carter is an avid hiker who knows Beeman Park well, but Sunday afternoon he somehow got lost there. How many are down there, guys? Sparking a massive search on the rugged terrain from police, his church members, and strangers. We were coming in to help with the search group, but we had to go in a different way because they wouldn't let us take that in. So. Ryan Perry and her boyfriend heard the call for help and traveled from Clarksville with their ATV. They skipped the main entrance and went around the park to an area where they used to go riding with friends. To their surprise... He was waving a shirt with a stick. We kind of looked at each other like, wow. There he is. Yeah, it was shocking. Carter was found alive deep in the woods on someone else's property. He was fine. Drank three bottles of water, had a Rice Krispie treat, so he was in really good condition. We probably would not have found them if we had gone down on that end. I think they brought him in on a, a, on somebody's four wheeler or something. It's good news ringing in his sister's ears, forever voicing this sound of gratitude. We just thank you. It's just been an outpouring of love. Thank you. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. What a great ending. In a statement, Wallace Carter thanks the rescue team and volunteers and the couple who found, first found him. He says, quote, I'm feeling good and ready to go home.